All right, welcome back. Now, in today's video, all right, we're gonna be talking about how to become fearless in sales, right? I would say out of all of the videos I've ever posted on YouTube, I think this is going to be probably the most simple, but also the most important video that I post. And I know this because of the conversations that I have with coaches. Every day I talk to coaches who have problems with sales, right? This will help you a lot only if you do it, right? And if you have more questions for me about sales, how to increase your pricing, how to get paid up front for a year, how to get clients way more committed to your program, text me at my phone number, 210-960-5771. It's gonna be on the screen the entire video, <laughs> right? So first, all right, I have four things that we're gonna cover here, all right? The first is you need to be crystal clear with your offer, all right? You need to know what the heck your clients want. What is the outcome or the transformation that you are delivering, right? If someone signs up for your program today, what do you want them to accomplish? What is the goal, right? If you don't know what that is, right, it is physically impossible to help that client, right? And let's pretend that you walk into a doctor's office, right? And the doctor, without talking to you, he just is like prescribes you all sorts of medication. And he has no idea what he's trying to solve. Right? He's just giving you a bunch of medication. Right? And then you leave there and you start taking the medication. <laughs> and you're like, wow, this is not solving my problem. Well, this is exactly what's happening with coaches. Coaches get on sales calls with parents and they aren't figuring out what does this kid actually need help with? And then they assume, well, if you just join my program, like we're gonna develop and, and help them get better. That's not good enough, right? If you want like lasting clients in your program, you need to get to the root of why, you know, why is this parent on this call in the first place? What do they want? What do they want the outcome to be for their child? And if you are not figuring that out and you do not have that tied into your offer, you're going to lose out on sales calls, on a lot of sales calls. There's hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of, of money that's on the table uh, throughout the year that you're probably missing out on because you're not crystal clear with your offer, All right? When I say be, become crystal clear with your offer, I mean, and I've said this in, in, in other videos, it's like, when I say that, I really do mean, like I could come to your house or your apartment, wherever you live, at two o'clock in the morning and wake you up and you know exactly what you're offering, right? That's how detailed you need to be. And if you're not that way, then you appear to be not confident on your call with parents, all right? That's number one. Number two, this is something I know most people don't do just because they're lazy, but you need to track everything, right? And I, I've said this to all the coaches in my, my mastermind program recently, like every sales call should be on Zoom, right? You should be face-to-face -face with parents on a Zoom call. They take it way more serious. You can record it. You can share your screen. Um, you can walk them through your enrollment process. I mean, it is so much easier to close someone on Zoom than it is over the phone. When you talk to parents over the phone, they could be at Chick-fil-A. They could be uh, completely distracted. They could be watching the Olympics. Uh, and they're like, uh-huh, yeah. And like, they're not even paying attention to you. When you get someone over to a Zoom call, they pay way more attention to what you're saying. They take it way more serious, right? And you, that should all be scheduled. If you go to my website, buildmysportsbiz.com, go use TidyCal, right? I set up a partnership with them. You can get it for $19 for lifetime access. And you can schedule all of your calls there. It, it automates with Zoom. Um, go to buildmysportsbiz.com, go check it out. Like that's the exact same tool I use Coaches that are high performers in my program, they all use it too, all right? We all do the same thing, all right? No, one, no one's reinventing the wheel there, all right? Next one, number three, is you need to get better at asking questions instead of just selling and rambling about your past. Here's the thing. I don't care if you played pro or if you played D1 or whatever the level of experience you have as an athlete, like that does not matter to the parents that you speak to. Like I know a lot of coaches, they'll talk about, you know, how great they were in middle school <laughs> and they lead the conversation 
to shine the spotlight uh, to shine the spotlight on themselves instead of shining the spotlight on the parent and, and trying to dig down and figure out what what is their kid uh, struggling with versus oh this is how great I am right and the thing is is parents become more interested in you when you ask them questions <laughs> right so ask them questions don't talk about yourself no one cares about you and this is the thing coaches egos are massive we want to tell everyone where we played college or where where we played pro that has nothing to do with helping their kid right some of the most successful coaches i've worked with believe it or not did not play pro some didn't even play in college they're just great at coaching right so you're on this call for one reason, not to talk about yourself. It's to start asking better questions, right? I have a script inside my program and there's a testimonial on my website that you can go listen to this guy. His name's Hector. He's been using that script. His business went from like, I think $16,000 to like uh, 60,000 to over a hundred thousand. Right now he's on pace to do over $200,000 this year. He customized the script. He uses the script on every single call. He doesn't deviate, <laughs> right? So for him, that has resulted in, you know, over three or $400,000 at this point of sales, right? It's huge. He asks questions though. He's not talking about himself, all right? Next one, number four. This is where a lot of coaches struggle, right? But you need to have a simple onboarding process. If it takes too long for someone to register, they're not going to register. If they have to pay you cash or check when they see you, well, now you're waiting several days until you physically see them. Um, if they pay you on Venmo and like they just pay you there and then you have to constantly ask them for money over and over and over, that takes long. That's inconvenient for the client. If you don't have a system in place, like right when someone signs up on what to do next, right that is it ultimately becomes a painful experience for the client not a good experience right so we need to make this easy we need to make it better it needs to look polished it needs to look professional right and when you have a simple onboarding process right then here's what happens you get better at asking questions right you'll want to track everything more and you become more confident with your offer because you have all those things lined up, right? And you can see how one of these things, if it's off, it disrupts everything, right? So if you're not crystal clear with your offer, well, why would you wanna get on sales calls, right? I can't imagine why any coach would wanna get on a sales call if they're not crystal clear with what they're saying or with what they're offering, right? I would feel terrible getting on a sales call if I'm like, wow, I have no idea what I'm selling here. All right. And I have been in, in, in that position before. And I know how annoying that was in my business at that time. I hated those calls because I did not know what I was offering. Right. And then if you don't track everything, well, how are you going to improve? How are you, how do you know what you need to improve on if you don't track it? All right. And if you're just rambling on about, you know, where you played JV basketball, <laughs> right. And you're talking about how great you were 10 years ago or 20 years ago, no one cares about that. Stop talking about yourself. Start asking questions about their child. All right. And if your onboarding process is complicated, if it's sloppy, if it's hard for the customer, all right, then that makes the initial stages of getting into your business annoying. And why would they, you know, give you referrals if the beginning stages of your business is annoying or if it's hard, all right? So these are things that help you become fearless in sales. Like I want to sell my program every second of the day because I know what my offer is, right? And I track everything and I know what questions I'm asking. And my onboarding process is unbelievably simple, right? So that's why I have the confidence to get as many calls as possible, <laughs> right? Because those things are in place, right? So if those things are not in place for you, Text me at my phone number and we can fix that, all right? I can absolutely help you in this area. This is what I do with coaches every single day. The ones that are actively going through my program, this is what we do. We get these things set up, they improve. They get drastically a lot better, all right, at sales. So that's it for today's video. 
Hit the subscribe button if you are brand new to the channel. And if you want to text me, text me at that number. It's on the screen. Um, that's it for today's video. See you later.